Yeah. Since my mama had me, huh? Get it from the dirt, can't hate me, huh? Public school slick, then raise me. So our little talk don't phase me. Money like bro. Yeah, man, we in the world with OG Tana. Where's a whole lot of player shit, common sense, and self accountability, man. And raw. Raw like you and your baby mama when y'all had that baby I wasn't supposed to have. I'm talking about raw, raw, raw. You feel me? <laughs> no. I ain't gonna even say what I'm about to say. But yeah, man. But yeah, y'all already know, man. It's OG Tanner, man. And I got, I got, I got some special people with me right now, man. I got Mr. Too Rich Benji. Too Rich Benji. Worldwide. Worldwide Too Rich Benji. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How you doing, man? That's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We on Lantana. We on Lantana. We, we on, on Lantana. Lantana. We on Lantana right yeah, now, man. We in the and and this this, this my this is my first episode. This is my first time back podcast. This is my last one, man. And, and I really, I really to have somebody like you for the first for the first guest, man. You know what I mean, I appreciate. I've been I've been rocking with the player for a minute, man. Hey, it's been like ten. It's been about a ten. Like, it's, been a, it's been about a ten, man. Your, your growth been crazy, man. Your growth been crazy, man. So, uh, look, I, I hate to like, get into the normal and the regular, man, but where you from, man? Because I know, look, we from Cincinnati, and I know a lot of people look at David, they won't know, like, man, where you where you from? Because you got you always didn't had an international swag, like, a, like you know what I mean? You've been worldly, like, since I met you, man. So, where, where you from, man? What, what the, what, what's up with OG2 has been that's the best part, man. I'm from College Hill. Man. Mm. I'm from College Hill. So this shit was always super special to me. Like, I think we got the I always felt like we had the biggest thing on the hood on the rest. Yeah. Like naturally, like you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like I remember seeing I done walked up and seen Dutch on the on the corner record, like I the biggest shit from College Hill, like Black yeah. Rain, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that was the thing, so like Damn, was you old enough for Black Rain? Like bro, I, he, I, me and Black Rain rapped to each other on the bus stop for an hour and a half. That's how you know you probably see it. You didn't freestyle with Black Rain. Shout out, Black Shout Rain. out to Black Rain, Shout out man. Black Rain, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, so, yeah, this shit was always special to me. I remember seeing your shit, like, when you was coming up. I'm like, I used to really tell myself, I'm like, man, Tanner, the street, the street, the streets down for right <laughs> So I'm like, man, this shit near me. You feel me? That's how you yeah. put it, that shit for real, like, bro. It's that, that's crazy. That's crazy how the universe be working, man. That's crazy how the universe be working. Like you've been, I, I like you. You've been doing music. You've been doing music, yo. Like damn near since you was a kid, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, like I mean, I was dancing for, for my homie, like on some background dancer shit, mm -hmm. and he was rapping. So like, I was, he was a background dancer. I was a background. Dancer. Like, well, who you dance like, Michael Jackson? <laughs> this <laughs> is. You say what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. So now, now, uh, so we, we, we probably do we need to cut that out? Now we are gonna keep it going, man, because we in the world right now. Nah, yeah, man. So you was a background dancer. So did you dance like Bobby Brown, Michael Jackson? Who you dance like? I was on my, yeah, I was on my uh, Michael. Like it's funny because I used to like chicken pop through all that shit, like on some Chris Brown shit. Yeah, but but, but <laughs> like I wasn't cold like that. I just was on some entertainer shit. So I had moments where I knew how to make the crowd laugh. Mm -hmm. I make make my mixes. Like I'm old enough to where my first set, we, they made my mix on vinyl. They took vinyls and recorded on two. Shit. And like my transitions were so fast because mm. we was doing it on the vinyl. Then I did one on the cassette myself, tape recording, into all that shit. So I got into engineering really. Yeah. Like I was like into that shit at like 13. Was you two always too rich, Benji? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was going about demotion. Niggas, demotion. Niggas, demotion. That's the young boy. That's that's the, that's that's Benji before the dreads, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, that was all here. Emotion. Hey, what you had? Did you have a MySpace or something? Or what you had? Definitely did. You had a MySpace. And I was smoking on MySpace music. You was? Hell yeah, yeah. I started fucking my first songs on there. I remember I came back to school. My, it was like junior year, nigga. The, that weekend, I did like 21,000 plays on some weird shit. I came back, I was talking about shit. It was like, <laughs> but it was funny though, because it really went crazy. Like, that's how I made 48 Door. I made 48 Door on MySpace. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Damn. You, know what I'm saying? you might have been the first nigga saying motion. 
You might be the first I nigga saying bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you might be the, like, damn, like, nigga, deep bullshit. Hey, you might be, hey, you might be. Yeah, I've been the most. For real, for real, like, but it's funny. Yeah, man, nah, man, that, that's crazy. But so you always been an entertainer. Like, certain niggas, man, you just know, like, they come out the womb entertainers. Yeah, definitely. I've been on that, I, I, It's funny, because, like, naturally, it's like a picture word. Yeah. That, that's like, it seemed like you would have been shy. It seemed like you would have been shy a little I'm bit. I'm going to some introverts, too. Yeah. I don't want to talk to him. Like, was you a class clown? Definitely. You had a face. You had a face. I had a face. Because I was trying to... Trying to make I wanted, yeah. I wanted, I wanted, I played sports. Yeah. I played sports after I stopped performing. Mm-hmm. I was performing so long. If I, I probably did from like nine years old with my first performance. To like age 14, 15. I got to middle school, I had stopped performing. My niggas moved to LA to start acting. Yeah. I just wasn't doing those no more, so I started going sports in school, but I wasn't never really into that shit. I wasn't do it. I was like, never. You wasn't, you did know, you never? Play, you, like, space, like when it came to sports, did you feel like, because I ain't gonna lie, when I played sports, I really thought I might make it to the NFL. Dude. I was, I was, I was, I wanted to be, I wanted to be in there. I wanted to, I probably, I wanted to be in the NFL. I wanted to be, I was short. I wanted to be Barry Sanders. <laughs> I, I, for real, like, I wanted to be Barry Sanders. I was probably always garbage in basketball, but football, I thought I was good. I was decent. Like, uh, hell no. Nah. Like, when I was, I like, man, look, man, my, look, when I was like in the fourth grade, I was playing for Hill, I was playing for Hilltop Hawks, right? I got like a D or something on my midterm, right? So D, a D or something like on my midterm. And, and my dad trying, like, since he don't really have us like that, he trying to be a super dad. This nigga gonna come up to the field on, he made me go up to the field on game day, turn my shit in. Turn my shit in, because I got a D on my midterm, you hear me? Because he trying to be a super dad, because he don't be, like, you feel me? Because my mama really running, so I was like, this nigga do this, he, he, he gave me to take me off the team, bro. Boy, I'm up there holding back tears. Like, I'm on the, I love football. You taking yeah. me off the team because I got a D. You don't even sit down and do homework with me. So, no, this was so crazy. Like, you weren't even coming to the game. So, I ain't, that was around the time I kind of lost the passion when I was young as hell. Then I was little, so I was always super small. So, it was like, it was over with for real, man. I, you know what I, mean? so I, had, I was having a heart, though. I feel you. See, that's my thing. I ain't, I really ain't had no passion for that shit. Yeah. Like, I came to school, I was coming to school, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, when I went to, I went to college in front of Did you? I, I went did. to Pleasant Hill and college in front of okay, I did, yeah. like, K-2-2 up there. I did. That was a real college shit. That was a college shit. Then I did, uh, my third grade year at Twitter. I did the same grade. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, both, like, from third grade to, like, uh, sixth and seventh grade, I was coming to school and they, you know, they had, uh, Way Cross had them, uh, uh, local channels and shit. Yeah. They used to be on them shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, doing what, dancing? Dancing, bro, rapping, I'm dancing. So I would come to school all the time. The teachers would be like, hey, we shoot you. The kids, hey, we shoot you. You know what I'm saying? Shit like yeah. that. So by the time I got to seventh grade and that shit wasn't going on no more, I was sped. You was on a, you was on Channel 4? I don't remember. It was, I, I did the one. The I local, remember. the local, when they used to put rap on. Rap they used on to put rap. Yeah, like we ain't had no video, but I remember once we did a couple of interviews. My niggas, we did uh, Channel 9. Yeah. They used to put them in newspapers and shit all the yeah. time. He opened up a stream tour and shit. There was a lot of shit going on. And, and, and 10, 11, 12. I was big, bro. Signing autographs for those girls. You signing like, autographs? Bro, we used to be running from girls and shit after shows. What? Shit at 12, 13. I swear to God, this shit is real trash. That's crazy. What was y'all called? He was Lil C. No, I was Lil D at the time, and then I changed my name to D Motion on stage one time. We performed at the Dayton Arena. Yeah, it was this group called Ice Style Records. Or no, not Ice Style Records. What was they called? I think it was. Nah, that's not Ice Style Records. They were Sun. But uh, they had these group. It was a little group of niggas, four sons or four brothers. They were called Lil Tight. Yeah. But they, they daddy had money and shit. They was pushing them. But they was <laughs> they signed the uh, Master P. Yeah. Like do no the little room. tights, I think I, I remember that. Tights. It was big. Where the little soldiers at? Over here, over here. Was that my money being there? I don't know. So they, had a, they had a little homie in their group. The little one of the little niggas was named Lil Deep. Yeah. So yeah, we performed the Dayton Arena. It came out. Fucking 
going crazy. They come, they and this was a sold out thing. It's like 7,000 people. Like, yeah. So I come out, they like, how old is you? I'm 13. Yeah. So my nigga get on stage. He like, yeah, he like, hell, yeah. he got charisma, bro, on it. He goes, yeah. he like, yeah, I'm little C-no, da 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 They give me the mic. Man, so I'm the dancer. I really ain't doing the hype man shit no yeah. more. So I don't know how to talk on mic. I'm like, I'm Lil D, aka D Motion. AKA D Motion. Like, bro, D, hey. D, I can't do this. Like, but I was like, man. And that was, went, hey, but nah, though, that's the self awareness. And they went off. They the did. crowd went off. They dropped the song. I get the, you feel me? I'm like, bro, I'm really living. Pop it. blocking. Pop blocking. Then Chris Brown came out, fuck me up. Damn, they be trying to, they be trying to steal the swag from D Mo. <laughs> I'm like, bro, why I can't sing? If I can sing with this dance, and I'm out of here. Man, yeah, you ain't, you can sing, but you ain't got, so you don't sing like you could dance. So you can never, still, can you still, can you still dance? That's fine. That's fine. Finesse. It was always a finesse. It never was like it never like a real dance. Like you couldn't real do dance. like dance moves like a real dance. I never do. Yeah, I never could do choreography. I could if my brain and my body can't do it. I freestyle every show. I freestyle every song to the day. I like my brain is wired. Yeah. So when did it turn into Two Rich Benji? Because I ain't gonna lie to me, your name Two Rich Benji is like when you say it fast, you don't really think about it. But Two Rich, like being rich, you know, rich like I look at that. You know what I mean, I look at rich as different, like rich is in spirit. Like you know what I mean, like rich, like Two Rich Benji. I just that's a fire that's name. How what what? what where they come from? I literally remember the day I was fucking around again. It was, it was uh, January 1st, New Year's Day, uh, 2012. Y'all chilling at the crib. I'm like, bro, y'all got to quit this emotion shit. Like, cause it turned into a joke. Because yeah. I wasn't really dancing no more. I'm engineering. Uh, uh, I'm doing uh, all type of shit. Are you hey. trying to make you was you was evolving? I was evolving, but you know, I yeah. wasn't really even artist. I was on mm -hmm. my like trying to be a label nigga. I had my friends, me and my friends. I was engineering and producing for them, yeah. shoot videos. And shit. But I remember on that New Year's Day, I'm like, brother, not call me emotion no more. And I put on all <laughs> that's the eight, that's the eight bound moment. Bro, it's like it's the moment, bro. I put on all the fake brewery in the room. I had on all these chains. I had my goals in. I was just like, bro. I'm too rich and I BNG. And that, that's what it was. I was too rich BNG. I'm BNG. That's. <laughs> oh, man, it's real. I'm too rich and I BNG. And then I was like, too rich Benji. Call me that. That's that. And I made a picture with my name, too rich Benji, at the bottom. And I made sure I stylized it a certain way. Create, a certain way. Creative ass nigga. And I, yeah, and then I, I ran with that. That's cold. That's cold. Creative ass nigga. You told the whole gang, like, hey. Hey don't, hey, don't call me lucky no more. <laughs> hey, 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 what the fuck? I'm too rich, baby. Too rich, baby. Hell no, and that's what it is. That's so fire. So, was you all, was so, was you rapping this D-Motion? Yeah, I was still rapping this D-Motion. But, like, rest in peace, my, my brother Rose Gold, like, he was, like, one of the four, five of the group, YG, that I was, like, trying to engineer, put together yeah. and shit. But, like, he was, like, the one nigga that was, like, Bro, you hard like with the rap shit. Like yeah. you, you down there the fire is one. Yeah. But I was just like, I, my mama always told me when I was a kid, she, she used to really be like, you can write, but you ain't got a voice. She used to really tell me yeah. that. But she wasn't hating. She, she wasn't hating. Ain't she no how to say it. Yeah, yeah. Just Instead yeah. of being like, work on finding the voice, she uh -huh. was just like, your voice sound crazy. Like it don't sound good. It sound it's it annoying. Before you hit puberty. Well, yeah, I'm like, I was doing. Mm. Well, I was trying yeah. to find a voice. Yeah. That's why I like, like, Missy Elliott, Buster Rhymes, because they was playing with their characters, like, mm -hmm. they were superhero type shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, once I, even now, like, with my music, I'm just doing, like, I do all type of shit. Yeah, like, no, nah, you, def you definitely on some artistry shit. Like, that's the shit that, that's the shit that I always, still, like, man, from when I first seen you, bro, in 2015, I'm like, ain't nobody, like, you know, like it was just starting to be that different wave where niggas had different swags and different clothes and shit like that. You was trying to be yourself. Coming from Cincinnati, you know, there's some thug shit going on here. It's not, back then, it really wasn't no other genres going on. No, no, no. But street nigga rap. My rap wasn't really street. Was my rap considered street nigga rap? It wasn't street nigga rap, but you was considered like street nigga rap. Yeah. Rap. So yeah, it was yeah. like it, it, the street nigga. It, it had that tough. It had that, that, that tough. Yeah, but that. you was one of the first. 
crossover artist. Yeah, the where it went like, cause I went, cause like I always just, I ain't, really, I ain't never want to like run with the street nigga shit. Like I like, I just wanted to be like a stand up, a stand up guy. Like yeah, I wanted yeah, to be yeah. one of them solid people, like just solid, like yeah, I ain't sure. feel me, cause it's like it's so much different standards that you gotta live up to when you trying to be like um street nigga, like. It's yeah, too you late. ain't come off like that. You came out as like I'm me. I'm, me. Yeah. I, I'm doing my shit and like I'm cool. Like, bro, I cause like we talk about I met you at the park. Was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The encounter, but I seen you like three different times. Yeah, I ain't never seen you, you yet. Yeah, that's how I see you. in the in the in the in the burger beef. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. And I'm like, there you go. But you was just on some cool humble shit, the same way you is now. Yeah. And, and, and niggas would see that you'd be the same shit. So it's mm-hmm. like, and that's you always, always you always had that energy too. That's why, like, I go I go off energy. Like I'm just mostly on energy for right. niggas. Like I everything I, I everything I be doing be having to be genuine. I can't even do. I can't even be on like if I ain't like you. Or if I don't fuck right, with right, you, right, right, right. I can't even do it. I can't do no music or nothing. Honestly, it ain't that deep. It ain't that if deep. I can't rock I'm with like, you. Man, bro, I don't, I don't care rock. if you was, like, world famous or whatever. The biggest nigga, the richest nigga. I can't fake kick. Like, I can't I, like if we did, if we was doing business, I could do business. But, like, fake like I fuck with you. Trying to do Yeah, like, trying to I fake. Trying to do I, nothing know, like hey, bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I ain't tripping that hard. <laughs> I'm not tripping that hard. It's funny because, like, it's funny because this is where the music business part come in because niggas on some industry shit are try to use that mentality yeah. against a nigga. Like, yo, you ain't trying to go that hard if you ain't trying to fold in certain situations yeah, yeah. or you ain't trying to almost, like, they be really want you to pick it. And it's like, a Midwest nigga just don't care. Like, yeah. that. He ain't doing that. Yeah. And it's funny because you look at niggas like that hey, Dave's Dolo Dolo niggas, that's like, yeah, I'm like, gonna get bro, mad, like, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Yeah, I don't need you. Yeah. Like, man, you feel me? Yeah, it's certain, like, it's certain it's people that can do that. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna knock them people. It's certain people that I know that just know how to get by rich people and, and popping people and just be by them, even if I know they don't fuck with them for real. I, I, it's certain people that know how to do that. I just ain't that. I can't. I, I just can't do it, and they might be a hindrance to me sometimes because I just don't. I really don't care who fuck with me. I appreciate the people that do Dude. fuck with me, but I don't care if they don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Absolutely. It's like like I pre- anybody who show me love. You didn't see me like if somebody show me love, I appreciate it. Like I, I I really do, man. So how was it for you? Like making music being so different though, like being being so different, being so different in a city where niggas don't be different. Like did like how how did that feel for you in that beginning? Because I know I know it, I know that had to be some shit for you. School was like the, the growing up. I, that's me. Yeah, I had to deal with that. You always been different. Yeah. Hey, bro, I got bullied. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna be one of them niggas. I ain't never worked no job. I ain't never man. I went through every real situation, like real human. Nigga, yeah. like niggas picked on me. I came, I came to school wearing my fat dad jeans. They was big as hell. They was his first jeans, <laughs> and they had his name tag on. It. <laughs> Bro, niggas was like, man, I done had so many experiences. Niggas was man. Niggas called me out of school like, damn, bro. I remember one time I came to class. They like, man, you wear the same jeans five days in a row. I almost had a breakdown in that bitch, but then I'm like, I stood up. Because <laughs> I'm like, man, hey, you see, but nigga don't right, know what you're doing. These the jeans I got. That's what I got. These the jeans I got. Y'all don't know the electricity off at the house. It's wintertime, and my mama want me to boil water on the grill to take a warm shower. On and the I'm, grill? They, they, they was, my mama was boiling water. They would boil water on the grill outside in the winter because we ain't had no electricity, no hot water. And this is how we finna take a kind of a warm wash up. I got to the point where I'm like, I don't even feel like doing this thing like that. That's so I ain't know that. That's this this my junior year. So it's like this niggas, niggas don't know that I'm coming to school. I got lugs on niggas like, oh, he got the Twinkies on his feet. I done went through all this shit, but this that's how I learned how to thrift. My grandma mm-hmm. used to take me to the thrift, buy me Bill Cosby sweaters. I hated it, buy me starter jackets. I, I think I've seen some things when you young with a few times. Just dumb ass <laughs> shit on. But then guess what? Four <laughs> years later, or, or not even that, I wear the shit. The kids like, y'all, that you got a Coca-Cola varsity jacket on. But the teacher's like, damn, bro, that's an Olympic 1994. That's hard. Yeah. 
That you, you feel like that's what your grandma. So do you credit your like my even on that? Do you credit your grandma for how you are with fashion? Yeah, my grandma is the reason why I'm here today. Just wait. Yeah. She the first. We was just talking about this shit like yesterday. But you know, like I said, I'm taking care of her right now. Yeah. And she like she seen me on a laptop doing some mixing vocals, yeah. seeing out the film so I get some bread. Yeah. But she like, is this the same program that that I bought you? When you was 13? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. So she called me a program called Hip Hop Track. I was 13, and she yeah. had that program for a year and a half before I put it in the computer and used it. Damn. But, but from that, you know. I, granny, so granny, just, gra- that granny love hip hop. You know what it was? She bought it. She bought some shit off some ass scene on TV shit for her. Mm-hmm. But as an extra thing, it was like a, a, a computer game or something. Yeah. You could get. Yeah. She just happened to get that. Because so, God got her wired for some reason. The universe, bro. The universe. The universe. It was real, bro. Like, so, you know, from all that shit to her seeing me making beats on the program and she seeing me making the beats on the keyboard, the actual computer keyboard, she's like, let me go get you a piano. Yeah. So, today when you see me on stage and I'll pull out the piano. So, did, my did you teach yourself the piano? Yeah, because she bought me a piano and I ain't know the keys anyway. She bought me an $800 you piano. You taught when yourself I the piano. I've seen you playing, I've seen that clip of you playing the piano. So, you taught yourself that? That's cold. That's that's real artist. That's real art. It's like it's different type of artist, man. And niggas who be like that dancing. You nigga teaching himself the piano is crazy. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy, man. Shout out, shout out, Granny Too Rich. Shout out, shout out, Granny Too Rich, Granny, man. Hey, grandma, I love you. She the one. Yeah, see, people, people probably won't even know that. People be thinking that you got to be like a street nigga to come from any type of diversity. Sometimes, like they be thinking like you got to be like nah, like. It's so many different type of personalities and different people, but people don't be want to be themselves. And that's what gra- made me gravitate towards you because you was being yourself. Because me, I know whenever I met you, I know I was a raging bull. I know it. I know. And you always was being your same self. Like, if a nigga could be they self around me, being like, being like how I am, like on that, right? Like, I was that, out, yeah. I was rapping, you know what I mean? Nah, you was a little bit different. You you was a little bit different. Pow wow, bitch. Pow wow, bitch. Pow wow, bitch. Nah, Love nah. Was you, you wasn't power in 2012. Uh, nah, 15. 15, because that's when I, that's when I, that's when you was a different nigga. I, I saw, my I, I, I linked with you in 2012. Like, you know, I didn't link with you. You was just at my video shoot. So and then by 2015, this all the shit. So you seen the whole process of everything going on. When I, I know, get right, was being shot and as all uh, no luck was going on. Oh. Yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this a moment. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Did you like, did you see me when the when the when the 106 and Park shit came on? Yeah, it came on for cool. We watched that shit. We watched that shit like a family. How did that cause look, cause now like me and me and you knowing each other how we know each other now. And then you being at that when I get right photo shoot, I know that had to be like, this crazy. Nah, yeah, it was, I mean, the whole thing was, I was showing my grandma that all your shit. Yeah. Like, she's from the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how she know you. She don't even know you from just, like, being, you being cool. It's like, yeah. you know, because I'm like, and that was 2013, so 20 you was still. Now, I, I, was, I was, when I got on TV, or, it might have been 2023. It was 2013. Yeah, since my mama had me, huh, get it from the dirt, can't hate me, huh, public school slick, then raise me, so our little talk don't phase me, huh.